We love being outdoors during the summer, but when that summer thunderstorm happens or it's simply too hot or wildfire smoke <laughs> envelops your neighborhood, stay inside and have some fun with crafts. Amy Latta is back for Getting Crafty this morning. She has two summer themed ideas for us. Good morning, Amy. Always good to see you. Always good to see you too. Thanks for having me. Of course, you're very welcome. You have two projects to show us. The first is a personalized glass. So walk us through that one. Sure. So you know that I'm addicted to iced coffee and summertime is the perfect time for all those cold beverages that we love. So I decided it would be really fun to make some personalized glasses. And these are honestly just for me, but you could also make them as gifts. Um, so keep it in mind for grads and dads and anyone else that you want to gift to as well. Um, but I just ordered a four pack of these glasses on Amazon and you can use them just as drinking glasses or with the straw and the lid. And to decorate them, I pulled out my trusty Cricut, which as you remember is a cutting machine. So this guy, I works with an app on your phone or on your computer and all you do is you go into that app and you're going to choose a design so the designs that i used were options that are already loaded in there you just i like i typed in coffee sayings and i found this one that says it's always coffee time um, I also love the beach. And so I typed in beach waves and I got this really cool geometric design. So they're already programmed in there. You just choose the one that you want and then you load vinyl into your machine. So for this, because we're gonna be using and reusing and washing your glasses, we wanna use permanent vinyl, that's the big thing. And some of the permanent vinyl comes in shimmer and glitter like my waves here, and it also comes in just different colors. And so you can tell your machine, I wanna cut the sign out of yellow and the words out of pink or however you wanna do it. And the best part about this craft is that the Cricut does all the work for you. It cuts the design and then basically you're left with what's like stickers and you're just going to weed. You're going to pull away the vinyl that's not part of what you want to stick to the glass and then use transfer tape, which is just that sticky paper. And as you saw in the image, you're just going to wrap that around your glass and then pull that transfer paper back off and it's going to transfer the image right on here with a permanent bond. Super cute, super, super cute. Okay, next to you, it's so adorable what you have next to you. It's a cactus pin cushion. Yes, I love this so much. You know, I love to sew. So it's always fun to make a new pin cushion, but you could also just use this as decoration around your house. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out six of those shapes that you saw on the screen, which is like an upside down U, and you're gonna put them in pairs and sew around the edges. Then you stack them up and you're gonna sew a vertical line down the center. And what that's gonna do is attach all of them together with six little openings. And you're gonna add polyfill to stuff each of those openings. And that's gonna give you the form of your cactus. You'll tuck it down into a pot. And then if you'd like, you can cut out little petals from pink felt or red and just glue them together to form a little flower blossom for on the top. Then you can stick your pins in. I found these little white pins that just kind of make it look like a spiny cactus, or of course it can be purely functional. You can use whatever pins you like to use when you're sewing, um, but it's super easy to do. It just requires felt and your pinking shears and your sewing machine, and that's all you need. Really fun ideas. Remind us how we can find you. Of course, come visit me at amylattacreations.com and you can check out my books as well. Perfect, and stay with us because you're gonna have more for us in the next half hour. Good to see you.